With the making of Bollywood films came the demand for local extras, and Dharmindra Shokar fully embraced the opportunity to star in the film Yamla Pagla Divana 2. Hi, Parambir. How are you doing? Great. Please. You have a dodgy American accent. Is that your real voice? Fortunately not, no. No, the voiceover was done in India, and uh, no, that's not my voice. I can just say that for the camera. Now? I have another assignment for you. I'm here as an asset manager at the University of Leicester where they were scouting for, uh, for locations. Um, so I took responsibility to, to try and help the schedule fit in. And as part of that, I guess they, they seen something there that uh, they could use. So you're telling me that was part of the agreement? You said you can have the location if I'm in it? Just a bit of luck, I think. <laughs> God knows how you do it. Now you've been in a big Bollywood film. Are you famous? Well, interesting. I went to a barber's recently, and one of the guys turned around and shouted out, Yum la bug la divana. So he recognised you straight away. That was a good feeling. <laughs> Mike Simpson is an extra whose contribution remains on the Mike. cutting room floor. Mike, we're sat in a lonely hall right now, but in the film, this was actually quite a busy scene, wasn't it? It was. This is the Queen's Hall within the Students' Union, and in the film, oh, this oh, is oh, an auction oh, house. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is for charity. Had I been sitting precisely where we are now, yes. I'd have been in the film, but I was over over there somewhere and that's the uh, the extras lot is they have to have you everywhere and you might end up not there so although the scenes in the film you'll You're look not. for me and you won't see me I'm afraid One cooker, ten fifty pounds. but it's it's fun you know um, you get a feeling that you're helping to make something you might get your face on screen but if yes. not you can at least go well I, I was in that so. well, you have done other filming haven't you so how did this compare the whole experience of a Bollywood film, what was it like? Well, I wanted to see what it would be like. Um, before I worked at the university, I was a film journalist. So I'd been on a number of British film sets of, of various different sizes. And they tend to be a lot more organised and a lot more carefully planned so that everybody knows in advance exactly what is being done on what day, at what time. And, and this seemed a lot more ad hoc. And it was sort of, let's try this. <laughs> no, let's try that. Um, That's very Asian, isn't it? <laughs> I could say that, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that made it different, you know, and, uh, and I can tick it off my bucket list now, you know, being in a Bollywood film. Tick. Done that. Would yeah. you do it again? Um, yes, but uh, I need to get a better agent so I can actually get on screen. I think I might know someone. <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs>